2012 Dodge Hemi engine. The AC compressor clutch pulley took a dump on me. Should be able to see that. You can see, yeah, that obviously that is off nominal. Uh, in the middle, of, I'm in the middle of a trip, out of, out of town trip that finds me in the middle of nowhere. But so that's making bad noises. I pull up here, I can tell it's it's launched. Uh, not an option to change the compressor out here in the middle of nowhere, not to mention the whole, you know, I just can't do that, that right out here. So, what are the options? Uh, the belt for this engine is going to be 82 and a half inches long. I was able to figure out that there are some, for some, you know, O'Reilly's over in Brady had some different sizes. I took a shot on 76 7 16 inches so basically a little over five inches shorter uh, which i arrived at very different methods and it's not important what is important is i had three options 76 7 16 77 7 16 77 5 8 i took this uh, my best guess was this was going to be this one and it did work uh it was a complete bastard to get on there uh, I've got this on it because I had to use this to give it everything I had. In hindsight, I think uh, a better better option would have been, or an easier option to install, put it that way, either one of these. Um, I, I just nearly gave up on this one. I didn't think I was going to get it on. I thought, shit, I'll have to just return this one tomorrow and get one of these others. I, I got a bigger wrench. I was able to get it on. Um, if somebody's going to use this information, bypass their AC compressor on one of these Hemi engines, I would suggest you go with a belt that's between 77, 716, 58 long, something like that. Um, because if you go with this one, you better have your shit wired tight. It's going to be a bitch to get on.